it's been quarantine life since March 11, 2020. We've been kind of doing laundry a little bit different. We don't have our own washer dryer in our unit and we actually have completely cut going downstairs to the public laundromat that's in our building to lower our risk and flatten the curve as we've been told. My friends started seeing me post videos of me and my husband doing our laundry. I call it Charlie Bucket Mom style where we hand wash everything in the bathtub. We started wringing things out in our mop bucket. It's been fun. Not really, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And my friends saw more and more of the posts and they said, you know what? We want to bless our friends with a portable washer and dryer. <laughs> when she sent me the DM, I was a mess, cried, and I could not believe the fact that Bonnie and Nick took it upon themselves to purchase a washer and a dryer for us that would match our apartment and our lifestyle. Big shout out to you guys. I'm really excited. I'm short. Okay, so let's see what's inside. More styrofoam for our household. Cool thing is, he builds dios. We actually have found a way to repurpose styrofoam into his dios. He does some pretty cool stuff. Check out his Bodega Joe's underscore dios today. Inside. We have the washing, washing basin. There is the lint trap. And on the other side is the spin cycle. So this is gonna be fun. It's kind of like a salad spinner for your clothes. Put this in over the clothes. Those are so close. And then it spins. Look how pretty the dials are. Here is the back of the unit. Power core. I think this is the drainage that will go down. We're gonna see if this thing will do what it's promised. I'm excited and hopefully I won't have to be breaking my back so much because your girl's getting old. All right, good morning. It is the next day and I got a lot of shirts that we haven't been able to do since March. Number one, number two, big bulky one. Jacket number three. Your form temperature going in. I'm gonna fill it to the high level to measure out one of these little cups for soap. It is recycled from a Theraflu. Set to standard and we're gonna do 15 minutes. I have a feeling this jacket should have been on its own. <laughs> A new look when you go shopping. Oh yeah, the new look. Have to readjust because it was falling off. See what else we can find for the house. Poor whale, he lost his eye. So this is from the UE. One of my things I love: spices, goods. Got cookies from different areas. Let's see if these are any good. Ooh. Huh. So we're gonna get this. Laundry machine keeps skidding, so let's go with gray. Everything's kind of tight these days. Yeah, really tight. That blue one smells so bad. These butter knives. Loose spoons and spoon pack. Well, this is basically a 99 cent store. machine out for a couple days to see what works what doesn't before we do a complete and full tutorial of how to make yours any portable washer and dryer work so there's a couple little things that we've learned that we needed to adapt for our house we do not have an actually usable outlet in our bathroom so we have to snake it into another room it's plugged into a strip we feel safe and secure we've run a few loads now and nothing you know has gone wrong the machine does skid all the way down the tub there's some weight to it but you can pick it up on the two sides plug in 
And one thing that we did notice is that a lot of lint comes through the machine that is not caught in the built-in lint trap. I have a reusable produce bag that is the same material as the trap inside. And I've also deconstructed a shower poof as a third filter option. I've seen other videos do this and that's where I got the inspiration. If I can find those videos, I will link it below. The drain hose usually snaps on here. I take it off, I put it in just like so and I give it a little bit of space and I also put it into that netting so it can drain through that and we just make adjustments. Every household is different, keep that in mind, then not everybody is alike. Another thing I need to do is put a towel down so just in case any water gets splashed it is covered by a towel. We're going to do the last actually of our giant loads that we had since March. One pair of underwear, another t-shirt, another t-shirt, we have a face mask, t-shirts, and another t-shirt, and a couple like microfiber type face things. Now anything microfiber, I don't like using fabric softener because it ruins the absorption. So that will not get put into the final rip. We have it on standard and this is the washer. It starts from zero to 15 minutes. And then over here is the spinner. So as long as you keep it on standard, this will not drain out and neither will this. So we are going to use our shower head and the water will go in here. I'm gonna use mostly cold water with a little bit of hot. So we started recycling bigger bottles because it is faster just to preload, filling your own water up. And this is the Audiel Downy that I purchased at the 99 cent store. Close the lid, set the timer for 15 minutes. There's no alarm that goes off, a ding, a bing, a purr, nothing like that. Lid is closed. We move it from standard to drain. So it works off of gravity, goes down quickly. If you do have microfiber products, pull them out. Fabric softener is terrible for them. So I like to keep a lot of my products to the side. And I'm also gonna pull out my mask. I don't know if fabric softener is good for it or not. So we're just gonna pull out the mask and put it in here. I'm gonna fill it up and I will see you back to pour in some fabric softener. Lesson you're after doing this a million times. Like water for water, just not filling up in a pit. One more time, I forgot to switch it from three to store to standard. So remember that we're freaking sign up somewhere. Oh, you're not wasting a ton of water. I am going to use 15 milliliters. I think 30 would be too much because you're not getting that much water to rinse. Set on standard, and then we just set it back for 15 minutes. So the rinse is done, and we are going to put it back to drain. And we're gonna keep it on drain during the spin so all the water can come out. T-shirts, four, is if you have bulky t-shirts, are generally good for maybe five. You don't wanna make it lopsided, pack it as evenly as possible. Push it down. This weird little wheel thing is like a cap. It is flexible, but you don't wanna push it too hard. I don't know about replacement on these. Push down. So you just wanna make sure the plate covers everything, everything's even. Drain, and I'm gonna put it on for five minutes. Sometimes it takes a minute for the balance. If 
if you have like a kid or just curious. It has a nice feature. It stops, so you're not going to get hurt. And then it'll pick up again. Which I think is really good for safety. This is actually not easy to pull out. I'm always scared I'm going to break this, so I'm definitely going to have to research what's going to happen with that. You can see that when it went in, it was dripping, and now I would say 75% done, dry, so it's not bad. It'll take probably an hour um, hung up. One thing I did notice, the big difference between not having an electric dryer and this kind of a dry spin, all the like whatever lint is left that's not going down in the water definitely does stay on your clothes that's no fun but for now it is what it is and like i said the machine is the machine and you have to have it adapt to your life and then i got these lovely hanging clippy things for like socks delicates uh towels so now we're going to do the dirty work and take out the internal filter, pull out that lint, and also check the other two filters that we decided to install ourselves. Is a little thumb of our finger hole. Put it in and you just slide. It's the same feeling as the back of your remote. This is the filter that holds. It's a little sack. And what I like to do is I push it through and then you're going to see all the lovely filter, filtered out lint, hair, and this, my friends, is where we start running into the problem where it starts to break. So you have to be really careful when pulling. If anybody can tell me how to like fix this, I'd appreciate that because it is difficult and I've even trimmed it a little bit but it just still keeps pulling. Line it up and clicks down. Look at what the internal filter did not catch. This is what will over time clog your drains. So what I'm going to do is get rid of this and then I am going to sit down and we will discuss more about this machine. Let's talk about the machine. We've had it for a few days. Well, first off, I want to thank Bonnie and Nick for the machine. It's definitely made a world of difference. Gone are the days of using a mop bucket and you know just plunging it rinse it in the shower with the shower head and then bring it back and put it in a little strainer. The strainer and it definitely was labor intensive but with this new machine it's really easy the machine does exactly what it's promised you just fill it up you put the water in you put the detergent in underestimate with the amount of clothes that i put into the machine i think that it could hold like six shirts or seven shirts I'll start out with like five or four and then once the machine is up and running I'll just start throwing one piece at a time and when I see that the machine starts to lose uh, uh, the speed at which it turns then that's when I know I've reached the limit it's user friendly I like how dry the clothes come out after oh, yeah. you put them in the in the dryer like that spinner, it, it really dries the clothes. Mm -hmm. Where it's like you could just hang it up next to a window. And, no, nothing's dripping. Yeah, nothing's dripping. I enjoy it. And I have clean clean clothes now. So thank we you. You're all that. caught up since March. Yeah. Now, my now my clothes have gone from smelling like Irish Spring, which is what I was using, you know, just doing jail status and just cleaning, <laughs> cleaning it in the bathtub. The only three cons that is for the machine. We live in New York, you're just gonna hear background noise. Plastic smell. Mm -hmm. So the first day when we opened it, the plastic was not as bad until we put it into our bathroom. 
Mm -hmm. and our bathroom does not have a window so we can't air out the smell. I got a pretty righteous headache from it. There is still a plastic smell after a few washes but over time it fades. It started, it's starting to fade. The internal lint trap. The strainer it's like it works but as soon as you start pulling the hair out then you run the risk of it unthreading and then getting a hole in it and from what I heard, there isn't really a replacement yeah, for I've it, so it's like you gotta, you kind of gotta get creative with it. And you know, we've been able to use the uh, grocery produce bag, produce bag you know, to to catch the excess mm -hmm. lint. Lint definitely clings to your clothes from the washer to the dryer. That when it spins, it clings. Yeah, there's that. I don't know how to get around that. And that's, I mean, the whole review is definitely from a standpoint of every day there isn't craziness out in the world happening because as far as being in the situation that we're in it's a perfect machine it's oh, exactly yeah. what we need I mean, definitely it's worth the investment um but look at your your family see what your needs are if you're in uh, a home by just by yourself this would be perfect because you could just throw the clothes in and do little loads here and there yeah. um for us too, uh, it still works, but once you start stepping into families of three, four and up, yeah. then you would probably need a bigger size machine, a bigger version of this machine, or just, you know, to invest in going into a regular laundromat. Even if it's a bigger one, it will not hold blankets, it will not hold comforters, um, it will hold one, we have a king size bed, it held one sheet at a time, but eventually when the world reopens, he can start going outside again. Concentrate, concentrate. Oh, oh but you got one. Oh, <laughs> don't pick it up off the ground. No, that's Herman's. That's gonna be Herman's apples. We can go down to the laundromat again and not worry. I mean, I'm sure we'll still wear masks, but it won't be such a a huge fear, you know, because we do need to go to a laundromat for other things that mm -hmm. this won't work in but for our weekly washes i i'm going to make a schedule and be like on this day we do this because we do have to you know we run out of hangers <laughs> you know so it's not like i can do everything in one day our review of the machine is not reflecting on the amazing gift this is if people want to see this um, and will this work, will this not? I'm getting questions from friends who have different household sizes than we do. Oh. So I want to be upfront and honest with the ups and the downs, you know, just because we review um, a product does not take away from the amazing gift mm -hmm. that this was for us because it really, it really has been a godsend um, for sure. And perfect timing. Oh, and yes. Right at the, right at the perfect moment. In our lives, we believe that God really reached down to Bonnie and Nick. I think it was like four days prior. Me and him were talking about actually purchasing a machine. I know I was looking at reviews for the specific model. It was not just that. It was what would be more important: spending the money to get a machine, or saving that money in order to afford the bills and the food. You yeah. Know? So like it came down to a point where it's like we have a mop bucket. It, it's tiresome, but it's kept us afloat. So we wouldn't necessarily have to spend extra money. And having that conversation and then just a few days later being told, oh, you know, my friend just purchased the machine for us so that we don't have to use the my bucket anymore. Personally, when I see things like that in my life, I don't just count that as coincidence. I really do believe in prayer and do believe that God is watching us and, and He's watching us during these times and He works through the lives of people to, to bless us. So, you know, it's, it's definitely uh, heartwarming to see again just because during these times it's like everyone focuses so much on the negative and, and how people are acting and, and just the worst in people and yet you still have these glimmers of light in the world. Ready? Are you, are you recording? Yes. I don't know if you're syncing things. Oh god. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Wipe the hairs.
People are gonna know we have cats. Wipe the hairs. Apparently now I have a sock chandelier.